Quiet, please. Will you go in there? Go play. Shh, just be quiet. Just be quiet. Okay? It's okay, but you just gotta be quiet. Yes. Okay, go play. Go play. No play? No. Okay. Okay, you can you can be in it. It's okay. 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 Just be quiet. Okay. Hey guys, Matt here again, uh, back with another video. Today I'm going to be talking about metabolic building and metabolic adaptation. We're going to take an example of someone doing a very restrictive diet. Someone that is doing maybe like a fad diet or maybe just like a meal plan and they've got like a goal of like hey I want to go to the beach in three months and I want to get really lean and look really good on the beach I want to get in the gym and how this could actually hinder you more than it could help you in your long-term goals of looking good so let's take this part this person in this scenario say this person doesn't really know uh, the amount of calories that they've been consuming so I'm going to just assume that they've been eating what they want um, and let's just say for sake of example that their daily calories based off what they normally eat is around 3500 they start eating clean and they just start eating a lot of healthy foods start eating around 1200 when you start this diet so calories have been cut drastically and you're gonna do it for three months time okay so over the course of three months you're eating 1200 calories so when we started this your metabolism was up here and it was used to getting these feedings around 3500 this is what your body's used to getting so your metabolism is adapted to 3,500. Over this three month period, your metabolism is going to slowly adapt to the 1,200. And over this time, let's say when we started, your body fat percentage, let's say your starting body fat percentage was 35%. And over this time, you've lost weight. So, because you've cut your calories, we lose weight. And our body fat comes down. Okay? And now we're around 20%. So, hey, we've, we've, we've done good. We've lost weight. But what we've done now is this is the issue. Where your metabolism has slowed down to the 1200 so now, if you stop this fad diet, or you stop this diet, most likely, you're gonna go back to your old eating habits. So if you start eating back up at this 3,500, immediately, like that, for the next however long, say six months. So now you're on this. your metabolism will catch back up to the 3500 but it's a slow process it doesn't just happen in a week or a couple days so metabolism will finally catch back up to 3500 but it might take that full three months or maybe even longer to catch up to the 3500 or a pound of fat is 3,500 calories over your maintenance and your maintenance is your MR okay your metabolic rate so if your metabolic metabolic rate has adapted to 1200 calories that 1200 calories is your maintenance level of calories so 3,500 calories over your maintenance is one pound of fat so if you can tell, if you're metabolic adapted to 1,200 calories and you eat 3,500 calories 
in two days, you've put on one pound of fat. And that's if all you ate was the 3,500. You may be so starved from eating such a, a small amount that you eat five or 6,000 calories. It's easy to do. I mean, if you go eat a buffet, like a cheat meal, a cheat day, and you just go out, you eat a bunch of ice cream, you can easily eat 6,000 calorie, calories, and you might not even realize it's that much, but really, you could be eating that much. If you really took time to track on some of your worst days, it may be that high. I think you'd be surprised. So if you, you were to eat that 6,000 calories in one day, you're talking about gaining two pounds of fat in a day. So now our body fat is climbing faster than our, our metabolic rate. So now we're in a worse off position at six months than we were in the beginning because we were 35% body fat here and our metabolism was adapted at 3,500 calories. And then after we dieted, we were in a good spot. You lost some weight, but then you didn't know what to do. So you went back to your old eating habits and you've created this gap here. And now let's say we're at 38% body fat and let's you could even take into account that your metabolism never fully recovered okay so now you've created this gap in your metabolism you're at a higher body fat and then when you go into next year you do the same thing this is this is the scenario I think that happens to people I think a lot of people fall into this and the reason is this big restriction in calories, this huge restriction because we don't know any better. And of course you're going to lose weight, but you could have lost weight eating a lot yeah. less or a lot higher than this. So <clears throat> I want to kind of show you now how you could correct this if you were in this scenario. So, for in this scenario, you've dotted down so now let's start slowly increasing your calories, and I'll show you how that can put you in a better position. okay, so let's start with seventeen hundred calories over a couple months, a month to two months. The calories come up. We stay at 1,700 for a couple months. And our body fat, and let me say too, this, this all only works if you're doing some form of resistance training Sorry, my handwriting's awful. Okay. And you're eating the correct macros. In this scenario, we're giving our metabolism time to slowly catch up to the 1700. And we are limiting our fat gain. Okay? And then we slowly go up to 2200 for a few months. Metabolism has time to catch up. And fat gain it's still going slow, okay? And we just keep this trend going over the course of a year. I'm not gonna keep going, but you kinda get the picture. So it keeps going up slowly, you're giving your metabolism time to catch up. And fat stays slow. So now, we have a different gap going on than in the other scenario, okay? So now our metabolism is high. 
and our fat is, let's say, we never even got back to our starting body fat. So now we're at 30%, and we've created this new gap, this better gap. So now when we go into next year, we're starting from a better place than the year before. And on top of that, notice this person's eating 3,000 calories. Yes, you have to factor in eating the correct macros, getting protein in. But at 3,000 calories, you can eat far more things that you enjoy. To put in good work, though, that, and that's very important. You've got to try to push yourself in the gym for this to work. You've got to be pretty accurate with your macros for this to work. But this is how you can put yourself in a better position over time and still allow yourself to eat good food and then how you can instead of doing a fad diet or a meal plan it's going to put you in a in a worse position afterwards this is why i don't agree with meal plans because i feel like it's a scam it gets results but long term i care about people and i care about people being in a better position than when they started and a meal plan and a lot of this stuff out there is gonna put you in a worse spot. Yeah, you might not make progress with me. You might not be able to get in the gym every day. You might not be able to hit your macros every day, but you're still improving slowly and you're not ruining yourself or setting yourself up for failure long-term. Long-term, we will keep getting better. I hope maybe that helps people a little bit, help them understand um, kind of how reverse dieting works. That's kind of how a reverse dieting scenario plays out. And uh, how the metabolism can adapt. And you can read about it. Um, I'll, I've done some research, but this is personal experience for me, okay? I've done this multiple times, and I've done it wrong multiple times. I've done it the fad diet style. I put on a ton of body fat and put myself in a worse position. I did it. I did it a couple years because I didn't think it really mattered. I didn't. I thought it was a hoax, but let me tell you, it's not. Right now, I'm eating more than I've ever eaten, and I'm not as fat as I've ever been. I hope that helps some people. If you would, please subscribe to my channel, like this video if it helped you in any way. Um, I hope to put out more content in the future. Um, if you don't agree with this video, if you don't think that I know what I'm talking about or, you know, it's just advice. I've been, I've been doing this a while and this is what's worked for me.